Hello everyone, I just wanted to uh, rehash a feature in the toolkit that you all have probably come across at some time or another, which is our indications, um, which is when you put in typically a combination of medications, sometimes a combination of health conditions as well, um, it'll indicate something that the client is not necessarily otherwise disclosing or something that you might not explicitly be putting into the toolkit itself. Now, I do want to just get ahead of it and say there's, there's no AI that we're using here, there's no magical computer formula everything that you see and interact with and everything that you see pop up in the toolkit is as the result of the data sets that we built in. So there's no, you know, black magic that we, we, we put into the back end that results in these things. It's all just hard coded in, as is the case with any software that you might use. There's no, you know, magic computer person um, that, can, that can fill out all these things for you. So we'll do a common example here, which is, I think it's the most common one, which is metformin or any other diabetic medication, most commonly metformin. Uh, for diabetes, and then gabapentin for pain. So we can put these in together. It'll indicate diabetic neuropathy. Now, as I mentioned in another video, diabetic neuropathy isn't a condition in and of itself. It's simply the combination of diabetes and neuropathy. Now, in the toolkit, we do combine them, just that that's how uh, it's referred to as on the applications, and that's just colloquially how we um, treat you know, retinopathy, nephropathy, neuropathy, the main three complications of diabetes. Um, but it's actually not a condition in and of itself, which is often why uh, which is why we put in these indications is especially for a newer agent uh, who doesn't necessarily understand how medications can interact and form a health history other than what the client is saying um, they can they can kind of be duped by that and we didn't want that so we have these indications in here to make sure that users aren't tricked by what the client uh, might or might not be saying or, or so that nothing's overlooked now another one here would be and there's a number of ways you can get to this one but um, we'll just put in coreg for high blood pressure controlled and then furosemide, Ooh, if I can spell, furosemide for high blood pressure, also controlled. So when I put these in together, and we'll just say the dose for now is, is 40 milligrams or less, which is the indicator of, um, it, it can be used for just blood pressure. And we see here it'll auto add CHF. Now does every single client who's taking Coreg and furosemide have congestive heart failure? No. Um, but it, it is a pretty good indication that they probably don't just have high blood pressure. As someone with just high blood pressure isn't going to be taking cording and furosemide in many cases. So with most carriers as well, at least be referred, if not rated or declined, depending on the carrier. But we have this in here so that you can ask some follow-up questions, see if there's any medications in the past. Like if this person has been on, you know, uh, carvedilol in the past, or there's just all kinds of switching, you can know that there's probably heart problems going on here. Um, and you can see we can just remove it if we want, but we do add these indications in. and then there's you know asthma we have uh, chronic asthma, uh, we have um, diabetic nephropathy. So we have a number of different ones in the software. So whenever you see a health condition added with the light bulb, just know that it was added because of the combination of medications you just put in. And maybe in the, in many cases you want to ask some follow up questions to the client and do a little bit more digging. If you end up disagreeing with the decision that we put in, you can always exit out. But just be aware when you submit that to the carrier they're gonna be looking at those medications as well. So it's something to uh, consider.